All right, good evening. Well, first of all, credit to North Carolina for winning the game. They got a good team, good players, and certainly found a way to, uh, to get it done. A lot of good effort on the field um, in the first half. Certainly felt like we were affecting their quarterback, uh, albeit the, the one fumble that we started finding our way offensively and moving the ball down the field, affecting their quarterback enough to put ourselves in a position to take the lead right before halftime with the drive. They came on the second half, uh, took the momentum with the, uh, the big play and the touchdown. And then we had a successive series where we turned the ball over one, I believe was on, the, on a snap. Um, the other one on an interception, and then find ourselves at the end just trying to catch up, you know, with uh, with time running pretty quickly. Um, you know, again, obviously disappointed, um, especially after we felt we were progressing in the first half. And credit to North Carolina as well. So, questions, please. Mario, when they went uh, when they went up tempo mm -hmm. offensively, mm -hmm. it seemed to really work for them. Uh, they were creating a lot of. Have a confusion. Mm -hmm. How big of a factor did you think that was? They're good at it. Um, getting lined up to it is always the issue, and the, uh, you know, simulating their tempo is difficult. They do again a really good job, and sometimes they catch you in a, a misalignment. Sometimes they catch you in a moment of fatigue. Um, but they had they had success with some of their tempo stuff. So we had some success early, throwing them off with some of our pressures and stunts, uh, but they. You know, the play count, as it got higher, their tempo was more effective. Um, Mario, uh, Tyler, I think, had a career-high yardage, at least a lot of touchdowns tonight, uh, but he still got hit hard mm -hmm. um, and had, I guess, a, a tough game also. Can you talk about how he is and his... I, I, we had heard on ABC something about his hand. And there was just all kinds of stuff going on. How is he? No, I think... Uh, when we were in catch-up mode, it's uh, it's difficult on him. It's difficult on the offensive line. You know, you're sitting back there and you're protecting and drop back, and that's very difficult to do. You know, in five and six-man protection um, for a while. I know he took a shot. Um, you know, earlier in the game when he threw the touchdown pass as well um, from a free hitter. You know, which again is you know, outnumbered in protection, but uh, he's really really tough. Um, I mean, it's, it's that kind of game, you know, we hit their quarterback, they hit our quarterback, both teams threw the ball a lot, and uh, with both have good offensive lines and good defensive lines, and so there was going to be some give and take, and certainly uh, appreciate him and his toughness for fighting through and finding a way to finish the game. Mario, from your point of view, just what changed after halftime? You obviously went into halftime with the lead, they come out and score, you know, three unanswered touchdowns. Yeah, we affected the quarterback in the first half um, and limited the explosive plays. And they, they won, they, they, got, they got their explosive plays, they made them and got us on them in the second half. Um, and tempo affected us a little bit more, and we didn't affect their quarterback as much. You know, um, but that being said, that's what affected the defensive side. The offensive side, we certainly had our chance, right? We came out, we're moving the ball. Uh, we have, um, you know, the snap just wasn't on the money. Again, guys are trying their butt off. That ball bounces around, they pick it up, and then we end up turning the ball over on the next drive. So, you know, we had been moving the ball really well those last four series of the first half, and we come out the second half, they score twice, and we turn the ball over twice. That tilted the momentum. We found ourselves trying to catch that momentum back and never did. And you mentioned explosive plays. Obviously, Tez Walker, a uh, big game tonight. Just what he did, did he do that was so effective against you guys? Uh, he's, just, he's a big, fast guy. You know, we mistimed uh, the post route that he caught. I mean, Jaden's trying to make a play there. And credit to, to both Jaden and to, to Walker. I mean, they, uh, I mean, great ball. He's a great, great Drake May's a great quarterback, you know, and uh, he put that ball exactly where it needed to be put. And as hard as we try to cover that one, that one got away from us. But um, it wasn't a lack of effort. I mean, that was really two guys really competing hard and trying to make a play, and they made it. Are right, you guys, I know the last interception, he's just trying to make a play there at the end, but mm -hmm. nine turnovers, I think, now in two games for you guys. Mm -hmm. And then some costly penalties, obviously, early on in this game. Mm -hmm. I mean, how much of this is self-inflicted where you guys are just kind of hurting yourselves? I mean, yeah, we did early today. I mean, there's no doubt about that. We had a chance to to score, you know. We're trying to make a play, and the ball squirts out. We had been really good about holding on to that ball early in the season. In the last couple games, it's uh, it's gotten us. And we, um, like we talked about in there, this is, you know, the way our organization is built is there's no 
there's no time for self-pity there's no time for negativity or pointing fingers or getting a shell and balling up or whatnot it's really addressing the things that we got to get better at getting away from the things that we're not really good at and get better that's it and that's all that we can be focused on that's you know being a member of this of this team is, is unconditional you know whether it's a win or a loss um, and when you have opportunities that that you allow slip away you got to take it as a whole you got to take it from as coaches you got to take it as players you got to take it as we got to teach it better we got you got to execute it better you just take it you know so obviously you guys had limited tape on Tez Walker and Blake starting mm -hmm. um, how are you able to just prepare for him specifically in practices this week scouting him well, I think what they do schematically already incorporates um, what they would have done with him. They've got a lot of really talented players. Um, they've got a lot of really good wide receivers. Um, but, you know, you know, we know his ability. You know, he's a guy that everybody recruited, you know, once he was in the portal. So um, you just you prepare the best of your ability, try to create your best matchups. And sometimes uh, you just got to win those matchups, right? Um, you, you can't. Anytime you take away one guy from this area, from the box, to double cover somebody, you expose yourself on the other side, right, in the run game. So uh, playing cat and mouse there for a little bit, and today, you know, we uh, they got more than we did. Okay, what did what did UNC do to kind of clog up running lanes to make things difficult in the run game for you guys? Well, I think a couple times we, we maybe were a little bit impatient, you know, where you got to set this thing up a little bit before it pops. Um, they did really well against the 11 runs, 11 personnel runs. Our open set runs were hitting pretty good. Um, I don't know how much we did in 12, but they seem to have some air in them as well. I got a couple that spit out a little bit. Um, but we, we generated some good stuff in the first half. In the second half, I'm, I'm gonna have to watch tape. I mean, I feel like the A-gaps had enough air to squeeze some stuff out, um, but it didn't It didn't show out that way. So, um, credit to them. Right, I have more for Coach. How's the morale of these guys? I know 0-2 in the ACC is not the way you wanted to start the year, mm -hmm. but we know it's a different group too, different leaders. Mm -hmm. How are they sort of responding right after? I, I think they're real. I mean, number one, they're disappointed. I told them they should be disappointed, uh, and they know it, and they should be pissed, but also in the right kind of way, you know, because there's a lot of good effort. There are some bright spots, and the stuff that needs to be cleaned up can be cleaned up so we can be a good football team, as good as we can be. Um, and that's just being very real. There's no sugarcoating. Um, there's no masking or trying to pretend that there's areas uh, there's areas that we can coach and play better at that it's going to make us better and some other areas we got to remedy with scheme or whatnot and so we're very realistic about that and i think they have a very realistic approach to the the future and the progress of this team they've seen what we can do when we're really good and they've seen what we do when we get you know when it gets away from us a little bit so i think they're ready to just get back get back to work and improve and get better Uh, Mario, uh, uh, you mentioned earlier about getting pressure on Drake May. Obviously, did a very good job of that, especially in the first half. Yeah. Um, earlier in the year, it seems like you guys were getting a lot of pressure, but not really getting home a lot. What mm -hmm. change do you think tonight? Well, I think that um, play design, scheme design was helpful. I think uh, guys like Ruben Bain playing more downs, more snaps, you know, really starting to feel comfortable now playing at this level, being a freshman, um, having Branson Dean back has helped a bunch as well. He's a good football player. Um, got to see, I know Nigel Lee got banged up. A um, couple guys, a couple other guys really popped and showed out and strained, like really strained to get to the quarterback. I mean, rushing the passer is an attitude. You know, it's a demeanor, it's a mentality. It's like, it's at all costs, right? It's, uh, and we have a couple guys that have that and we're going to keep developing that type of an appetite to get to the quarterback.